In this video, you'll be learning about ladder style if statements, which allows us to have multiple conditions that we can evaluate before determining what blocks of code we want to have run. To start with, let's remind you of the conditional operators. So in the previous guided practice, we were talking about setting up Boolean evaluations. And in that Boolean evaluation example, we only had one condition that were, we were evaluating. But a lot of times there are multiple conditions that need to be evaluated in a single expression. The way that we can do that is by using these conditional operators. So with the AND AND symbol, that's the conditional AND, meaning that we'll have if this condition is true AND this condition is true, and we can have as many ands sequenced in a single expression at, that we need. And then with the two vertical bars, which is the key right above the enter key. So if you hold down shift and uh, press the what would normally be the backslash key, hold down the shift key and, and press that key, you'll get the vertical bar. And if you have two of those, that's the conditional or. So in that case, the expression reads, if this is true or if this is true. Switching over to NetBeans now, you can see I've already created a new project and named it Guided Practice 3B. I've added the import statement for the uh, scanner class. Because we do want to take some input here, what we're going to do is basically develop a little grading program that will evaluate the score that's put in and what the uh, grade is going to be for that particular score. We'll start by declaring a score variable. Next we'll create an instance of a scanner object to take our input. And then give, create a prompt for the user. Then we'll take that user input and assign it to our score variable. Now we're set to set up our ladder style if here. And it's important when we're setting up a ladder style if that you put your scores in order from largest value to smallest value. So we'll start with if score is greater than or equal to 90 and score is less than or equal to 100. That will be our first conditional expression. And if that evaluates to true, we'll output you got an A. Next, we'll add an else if score. 
score is greater than or equal to 80, we'll output you got a B. And then one more else if here. When score is greater than or equal to 70, we'll output you got a C. So let's go ahead and run this. We'll enter a score of 95 and we get an A. Run it again, enter a score this time of 85. We've got a B. And then one more time here, a score of 75 and we've got a C. Now I'll run it again just to show you we haven't allowed for cases where we're greater than a hundred. You can see the error that we actually have. I mean that would be a, a bug in the program considering the fact that the score was over a hundred points which should be an A but that when you evaluate that in the in the first expression it is neither greater than or equal to 90 and less than or equal to 100 see it exceeds 100 so it violates the second part of that conditional expression so what happened is it skipped down to the next else if read that expression that condition which read simply score is greater than or equal to 80 which 101 is so the statement you gotta be is what got output to the screen so to fix that what we can do is we can be a little bit more specific in our else if statements as well by having an and or a, an additional condition as well so we'll put this as uh, less than or equal to 89 and then we'll do the same here for 70 and less than or equal to 79 and it's important to put our variable in there that's why we're getting the squigglies saying if what is less than or equal to 89 or what is less than 79 <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and run this again. And again, we'll put in our score of 101. And this time we get no output. So we don't have that bug in our program anymore. Something that I want to add here with regards to having multiple conditions within your expressions is when you're using the AND operator, there is an expression known as shortcutting the evaluation. So when you have multiple condition, what shortcutting the evaluation means is that as the, as the expression is being evaluated, the first occurrence of a false statement will end the evaluation. In other words, if we're looking at our first if statement there where the score is greater than or equal to 90 and less than or equal to 100, if we put in a score of 89 for instance and it reads that first expression as soon as it reads score greater than or equal to 90 that would return a false value and so it would not then bother with continuing on to each conditional expression after that in other words the less than or equal to 100 in this case so that's an important thing to know when you're setting up your expressions. This one's not as complex as it 
could be to help demonstrate that a little bit better, but just realize that the first encounter of a false statement when you have multiple conditions within an expression, that will terminate, that will negate the entire expression. Now, for the guided practice, what I'd like you to do is add an additional else-if statement in there that would qualify a score between 60 and 69 and have the output read, you got a D. So I want to have everything you see on the screen now, just add a conditional statement that would allow for a D grade, or calculate for a D grade. So that's it for this video. Till next time, happy coding.